All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dave. And I have a special guest today, which is a little bit different for me. I want to welcome a brand new singer who is on the scene. She's been on YouTube for a little while. Uh, please welcome Chez Kane to the R. Hey, Motel. everyone. <laughs> Chez Kane, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good, good. I hear it's a little rainy and chilly in South Wales. Yes, very wet and windy today. <laughs> it's blowing a gale. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so let's start at the very beginning here. Um, okay. What what got you interested in music? When did you start to sing? Were you little tiny little tot singing or what? When did you start? Yes. So I've been singing since I was, uh, well, since I could speak really. <laughs> So the first time I actually performed on stage was when I was five years old and um, I've literally been brought up in music because my dad's a singer, um, my grandparents have been in bands, my auntie's a singer, then obviously my sister's a singer, so it literally just runs in my family. So it all began there. <laughs> there was no escaping it. <laughs> and um, you were, or you're in a band, I don't know if you're still in a band with your sisters called Caned, is that right? Yep, that's correct. And how long have you guys been doing that for? Uh, so me and the girls have always sung together since since I was, f well, five. Um, <laughs> Stephanie, obviously, the eldest sister, had a few uh, projects going on when she was younger. Um, and then myself and my middle sister, Stacey, we kind of got jealous of Stephanie, the elder sister. So <laughs> we kind of followed in her footsteps. And then um, we started singing together um, as a trio. Uh, that must have been when I was about nine or ten, I think. And then we went on then to creating Caned. And um, so somewhere along the line, I know you've uploaded a few videos to YouTube. Um, yeah. And that's been a good way for a few people around the world to kind of get discovered. Somebody's looking for a vocalist. I think of like the band Journey, for instance, they found their singer uh arnell in the philippines you know and his yeah. his uh you know his guitarist or whatever was just uploading and this was in the early days of youtube and uh you know you know probably the rest of the story is that he got discovered and was this the same kind of thing did somebody hear you on youtube and they were like that's the girl for us it was, yeah, this mad, it's crazy. So um, yeah, I started uploading covers um, a few years back. I didn't think anything of it at the time. I, I think I put one YouTube cover up and then I had about a year and a half of not doing anything on YouTube. And then I decided to start doing more covers again. And I'm really bloody glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> because um, Danny Rex and then singer of Crazy Licks uh, came across the cover of uh, Vixen's Edge of a Broken Heart and he <laughs> offered me the project from there because that's the kind of singer he was looking for and he thought that I would suit the project. So it just, yeah, it's mad. Now, okay, this is a good little segue here. So you uploaded Edge of a Broken Heart. Obviously, the first time I heard Too Late for Love, I said to myself, okay, did Vixen put out a new record? <laughs> did, you know, did they find a new vocalist? I know Janet Gardner, she's been kind of in and out of that and um, they've had a few issues, but I first, then I realized, okay, this is somebody new and the video too, which was um, really well done from that 1990 perspective, um, yeah. very smart because I guess if you're gonna go, you know, for that sound, you, you do the look you do the hair, you do- You gotta go much, all in. Right, yeah. how, how did you feel about all that? Were you a little, are you kind of a timid person? Cause that's kind of a more sort of, you know, kind of, what do they call it? Modeling for the camera or whatever? Yeah, I have my moments. I think everybody has their moments when they're kind of camera shy, but um, to be honest, it's what I've grown up with. I absolutely love that style of music. I've always loved the big hair, tight clothing, that kind of thing. So it just, yeah, it came natural to me because I've, I've always loved and looked up to that kind of style. So I really enjoyed creating the video and the style and, and singing the songs, really. Yeah, I assume you were probably born in the 90s, maybe? Yes, I was born in the 90s. So you're born in the 90s and singing songs from, you know, the very beginning of the decade. I, you know, as being an, an old guy like me, it's just really, I don't know, it's just encouraging because... 
in the history of this music, you know, the 90s really, the music changed radically. And uh, all of us who are still kind of like waiting for the next Winger album, waiting for the next Poison album, waiting for the next Def Leppard, even Vixen, whose career was kind of really sort of uh, cut off, truncated, I would say, because of all of that. Um, it's just so nice to hear. I mean, I, I'm just going to say it because I can, is that I've been able to listen to this album from start to finish, courtesy of um, my friends over at Frontiers Music. And I got to say, ten, <clears throat> 10 songs, not one bad song. In fact, um, the first track is called Better Than Love. And there's a saxophone in the track. So I'm <laughs> yeah. going to say, and I'm thinking, this couldn't get any better. I'm thinking kind of, you know what I was thinking of when I heard it was like Eddie Money, like Take Me Home Tonight, like kind of had like that sort of vibe in, in, in there. This album has some pop moments. It has some harder rock moments. It's just... It's yeah, there's so, so many different influences in there. You can hear like the greats and then obviously it's got the, the heavy, crazy licks feel in there as well because Danny's written the stuff. And yeah, yeah it's just, it just hits all those like great 80s feel bands and singers. Yeah. Danny, Danny, he, did Danny write all the songs for this? Yeah, he did. I mean, he, you know, I'm surprised <laughs> he didn't try to keep some of those songs for himself because um, he, he definitely was in a songwriting frame of mind for somebody, for a female vocalist, obviously. Yeah, but definitely. I, I believe he wrote, um, he actually originally wrote uh, Too Late for Love for Crazy Licks yeah. and it didn't quite work out. And then he envisioned me doing it and it just turned out really well. So very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would be very happy about that. So when I hear your music, obviously, and this is just for the audience, as a reference point, we talked about Vixen. Obviously, Lita Ford is in there. Maybe a little bit of Pat Benatar. Um, maybe even a little bit of Rindy Ross, if some of my audience remembers Quarter Flash from the early uh, 80s, Hard in My Heart kind of a thing. I could hear you probably doing a nice cover of that. But then you've got kind of a more rockin' Poison by Bon Jovi. There's so many different things going yeah, on yeah. in this. Um, there are references like Danny puts like a little reference in a song here or there you go ah ah and you're just thinking of the song that it's kind of related to to some degree how, yeah, how was that, that must have been fun for you you had this great material and you have a, a, a beautiful voice so you're kind of able to adapt to all of these more emotional parts in the songs and so forth and that really takes you back to the days where yes you're talking about the big hair and everything that's <laughs> yeah it's just a, a fun I'm, time i'm still working on that i'm still working on it <laughs> you, need, you need some aquanet and you need lots of hairspray <laughs> yep you definitely you need some aquanet that's a that's a I, I mean that was an art form i lived through it and i dated a few women who this is was their look and the prep time for that look is you know it's it's like come on we got to go now no, nope, not ready. <laughs> so you have to be very patient um, you know, to have that kind of look. So the album is due out on March the 12th, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. And any more singles that are going to be released? Can you give us any, you know, little inside information or do you know? Um, so I believe there will be another single that will be released alongside the album release. So there'll be like a single that will be pushed at the same time as the album coming out. So. Yeah. And are you guys pretty locked down in South Wales? Can you do anything? Can you go to concerts and stuff or no? Not at the moment. So there was an announcement yesterday, actually, uh, for England, because Wales and England have separate rules. Oh, okay. um, uh, we're kind of like three weeks behind or we kind of like changed the rules a little bit in, in Wales. <laughs> so for England, they um, apparently the restrictions are going to be over from the 21st of June, I believe, but okay. I'm not sure how it is going to be for uh, Wales yet, but obviously things can change as they have been every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that the restrictions will be lifted and then I can start booking some gigs. That would be good. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was the next question I had for you. So um, the Ches Kane live road show, do you have a band? I have a band. Yes. Wow. Now, did, did Danny recently, put this? Um, 
No, I've recently done some band auditions. Um, so I basically wanted, um, obviously I know lots of mu musicians I could have asked, but I wanted to hold some auditions um, where musicians were coming forward and taking the time to do a video and audition. And I wanted to feel their excitement and their buzz for the music. So I really wanted to have hungry musicians for my project. Um, so I've done a few auditions where they've sent me um, videos of themselves playing along to Too Late for Love. And I found my band from it and I'm very excited. <laughs> now, were they all in on the style? Did they, did they just be like, wow, here comes this woman from 1991. She's just like walked onto the scene. And so we've been waiting for 30 years for this. <laughs> yeah, they've all been very excited about it. And they've all got kind of like past eighties love as well so they like the <laughs> style so yeah it's all good <laughs> are they are they your age or are they like old like me around my age yeah wow that's always yeah. i love i love to see that there are very few musicians who are your age who are enthusiastic about it um here in the yeah, state that's, that's why i wanted to hold the auditions i wanted to see the enthusiasm about the music and i wanted them to be as, as excited as i am about it so i'm really glad that i did that that is very cool. So possibly some live dates, maybe after June or whenever. Definitely some live dates, just a matter of when. <laughs> yeah. And uh, maybe you can book some gigs with Crazy Licks. Maybe you can open up for them or oh. you can op open up for you, maybe. That would be insane. <laughs> either way, I'm good with it either way. You might be bigger than they are after this. I don't know. Um, Danny, <laughs> but we got to... Like crazy we have, credit. we have to give credit to danny though because he did the writing the production um he picked some great songs for you to sing um, oh, he's amazing yeah and that really he went up a notch for me i mean i liked crazy looks before this but um the fact that he was kind of able to take that sound and and give it you know the the female lack of a better word vixen kind of thing um, is really impressive. So I'm hoping that the record will do really well for you. Um, do you have a website? I don't have a website at the moment. Um, I'm currently pushing everything through my social media sites. Obviously, I'm on Facebook, Facebook? YouTube, Instagram. Yep. I actually, I don't know why I did this, but I downloaded TikTok yesterday. <laughs> Well, I, I was like, I don't know whether it's a good thing or not. I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. I'm reluctant to do TikTok, but a friend of mine, I just did an interview on his channel. He's like, Dave, you got to do, you got to get into TikTok. You know, he did some video. I don't know what he was doing. Cause it's just, I don't understand it. I just, I don't understand. My kids get it. I don't get it. But all of a sudden <laughs> you've got like 2 million views on you're walking down the street and you're, you know, drinking a soda and all of a sudden you're, you're famous. So it's, I mean, with it's your, crazy. yeah, with your voice, maybe you should just do a little, I think you only do like one minute videos over there. Do you just do Yeah, a, something like that. I'm so, literally, I downloaded it yesterday. My friend was like, you have to get TikTok. And then someone said to me, you should get TikTok because you can then um, approach the younger market with the album. So I'm going to try and see how it goes because obviously there is a younger market over there and I really want to try and get it back out there today. So fingers crossed, I'll give it a go. I'm not convinced at the moment, but <laughs> it's I, really confusing. <laughs> I know, and I'll, I'm right there with you. I mean, if we, we do this, maybe we'll discover that. What, what were we thinking? Yeah, we were what doing- were we missing? Like, we, might, we might be missing so much, so who knows? <laughs> use YouTube, you know, YouTube, maybe it's getting to be a little old and you know, it's just, everything changes over time and new social media. So you've got a Facebook page. Um, any merchandise we can buy? Obviously, we, we can order the album through um, Frontiers Music uh, starting. Well, you probably pre-order it now, I'm assuming. Yeah, you can pre-order the physical copy from the Frontiers web store. Um, and obviously, then you can get the digital version from places like Amazon, stuff like that. Um, when it comes to merch, I'm currently in the middle of setting up my shop. Um, oh. But... Jens from Crazy Licks, uh, the bass player Jens. He's actually got a, um, a merchandise kind of setup as well called Sunset Prints. So in the meantime, he's actually made two prints, uh, two Shares Cane t-shirts. So you can actually buy a t-shirt from there at the moment. So his shop is called Sunset Prints. So if you can't wait until my merch shop is up and running, then you can go and grab one from Jens. 
Yeah, they're going to want the Ches Kane t-shirts. I mean, again, if you're going to do the <laughs> 80s, 90s, early 90s thing, I mean, the the gear, the stuff, the shirts, everything, maybe you should have the Ches Kane bandana. Maybe you should bring some of those. Oh my God, yes, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's <maybe>. happened. <laughs> Uh, so um look i wish you the best of luck this album is fantastic i've reviewed it on my blog page what i'm going to do is put the link to that blog underneath this video in the oh, description so folks can read it i don't do a lot of writing because it's i'd rather just talk about stuff but um yeah. i want to help promote you and this music needs to stay alive and um, yeah come on honest, honestly <laughs> i know it's only what february but this is the best new album I've heard in 2021. So I'm just- Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Out there. And I want to thank you for coming on with me. I know you got probably a few more interviews to do, but uh, it's been great to talk with you. Best of luck. Oh, thank you so much for um, wanting to interview me as well. I really appreciate the time. Thank you.